Welcome back to Prison Architect, everybody. Welcome back to Morning Word. Last time we left off, we uh, we 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 did a bunch of stuff. You know, I honestly I can't remember exactly what we did. We we I don't know. We finished up some things around here. We put some radiators down and stuff. You know, but this time we're gonna build a wig factory. Okay. Oh, I know what we did last time. We met Benjamin Page, didn't we? Should we go and see how Ben's doing? Ben, where are you, Ben? Ben, are you here? Uh, there he is, Benjamin Page, he's having a little nap. He's doing all right, he's doing all right. He's a two, in, two days without instant, and he's got lucky sevens for cash. Okay, so, uh, where are we? I, I'm going to build a wig production facility today, okay? Because hopefully that's going to get some of our cash flow uh, coming in a little bit more, you know? Because we, we need to get this number up, especially if we want to buy the next section over. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to have to leave it running for like... 30 days to get 80 grand in to buy the the spot next door which would be kind of annoying because you know by then all of our all of our lovely villagers will have left us and uh we we you know we'll have a whole bunch of new faces that we're gonna have to get to know and honestly i don't want to do that you know i'm i'm i like our faces I, I like the faces that we get to see every day at the moment um now i did i did fuck up this okay and that i put it too close to this pavement but you know what we're going to make that a running theme all the way up here, okay? The reason being that it's like a, a slightly more industrial kind of area, you know, down this bit. It's like the back end of the uh, the shopping mall, okay? So we're going to we're gonna get the foundations up against the pavement as well, but we're going to leave the, the standard gap up here because this is the main road, you know? We want this to look nice and, and we, we want people to feel happy walking down the main road and, and you know, like... I don't know, just comfortable, comfortable. So I guess while the workmen are doing that, we'll have to look at getting the uh, the rest of the, you know, the road and stuff down. Uh, we need to get a door in, of course. Now, I'm not sure where I, I, I want to put the door. I've got some ideas for what I want to do with this this space, though. Okay. Um, now, I think for now, we're just going to put doors up. Um, yeah, let me let me think about this. For, for what I want to do with the space, what, what how many? One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, that's kind of annoying. I guess we can do. Um, oh, it's going to be really thin corridors. Okay, I I might extend this foundation out a little bit. Basically, I've I've got an idea in that I want to. Actually, no. You know what? We we could make that work. We can make it work. All right, I'm going to make it work. Okay, just just trust me. Okay, I've got some really really good ideas. I think they're they're going to prove. Um, very fruitful if if I can get them right. Okay, have they have they finished the foundations already? I think they have. Wow, these guys are properly on form today. I thought it was going to take them like I don't know two years or something to get everything down, but no, it turns out actually super super quick, um, which is nice. I'm I'm pleased with the result. Uh, we're going to extend the road down here. Okay, and this is going to be the end of Bachelor Row, which is good. You know, I'm I'm kind of happy that we finished Bachelor Row in you know, such a nice manner, and the fact that, you know, we have actually finished Bachelor Row. But uh, I do I do want to think about what we do with this space down here, you know. I mean, we could even get one more Bachelor Row house in, just on the end, perhaps. I mean, that could be an idea, couldn't it? Should we just clone one? Um, oh, look at that. We we can just clone a Bachelor Row house. Let's, let's clone... Um, let's clone the green one from over here. Okay, just so it's it's not as similar as the uh, the ones that it's going next to. Oh, what? Blocked white. Oh, there's no there's no foundations down. Okay, all right. We'll we we'll re we'll, re we'll re re rethink that. My God, I've got to get my words out. We will rethink that uh, as and when I come to deal with this space. Because honestly, I could I could make this like a tree export area as well. You know, so that we can get some money coming in for that. But it looks like they finished this space now, which is nice. Uh, we'll slow the game down a little bit, just just a touch. Now, what I'm thinking, right, is that we can make them little offices to work in, okay? Uh, these offices will be shared, of course, so we'll, we'll have them being, you know, two two people in each office, and uh, we'll give them, like, a radio and things like that. The benches, that they uh, they produce their wigs on a free wide, okay? Um, so we can have a gap, and then we could have that. We could have a radio. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should make the rooms four... Let's try four and see if we can make this fit. I, I honestly, I'm too busy chatting to kind of work out the numbers in my head. So what that that leaves us? Oh man, it's kind of annoying, isn't it? Just that little space at the bottom. So what do we what do we do about this? I guess we could make two of these offices slightly bigger, or we could try the original size. That I said, you know, the the free the free size ones. I mean, it's going to be a little bit sweatshoppy, but then at the same time, I was trying to avoid the kind of sweatshop look. 
which is why I thought maybe giving them little offices to work in would be nicer. Um, so perhaps instead, we uh, we work our way up from the bottom, okay, like this, and like this, and then we, we you know, we work out how many rooms we can get in this way. So two, three, let's give them four, four space rooms. One, two, three, four. Oh, four. And then maybe we can turn this top space up here. Three, four. No, we're not going to be able to. I mean, we could actually. Oh, yeah. You know what? I, I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay. This is fine. All right. Um, what what we're going to do instead uh, is yeah, I know I this is this is classic me right I'm always chopping and changing uh, changing my mind three four so we're gonna do that okay this is this is the plan we're gonna turn these little spaces here into toilets so that the workers can come and you know have a little break have a little wee or a poo or whatever it is they need to do um, you know clear out the old bow bowels and then get back to work basically uh, we could even oh man we could even turn this into a room couldn't we should we do it? Let's do that. All right. This is going to be maximum production facility, okay, but also a lot of comfort and uh, some happy workers because I, I want everybody to be happy in this place. You know, I've, I've said it many times before, Morningwood is meant to be a happy place, a place where they can come and, and like work and enjoy life and, and report back to their families about how great it is and how they should all come and live here as well and uh, be enlightened by the word Morningwood. But anyway, we're, we're, we're going to get these walls in place here. We're going to also get some doors down. So, first of all, I think, yeah, we're, we're going to put the doors on the bottom of these spaces. Okay, like this. Uh, this is this is going to work nicely. Oh, no, but you know what? This is this isn't necessarily going to work so nicely. Okay, we can't we can't use this middle space like I was planning to. It's just not it's just not going to work. It's not cricket. You know how am I going to get doors on? Oh no, cancel that. No, no, cancel, cancel. Oh, okay, right, fine. I'll have to delete those two bits of all. Jesus Christ, that was close. Uh, yeah, because if I if I put that there, how are we how are we going to get in? You know, we need doors going in the sides. We can't have doors going in in the tops, unfortunately. So it's fine because instead we're going to use these these gaps to put tables in for like the wigs and stuff to go on. Maybe, just maybe, we'll give them like a little resting area in the middle here or something like that. Could be could be a nice thing to do, couldn't it? Okay, well, let's get rid of this planning for now. It looks like we, we did... I think I forgot to put these walls in, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I did. All right. Either that or I cancelled them involuntarily, because that does happen sometimes. If you if you drag a long line instead of a little one and then right-click, you know, you do end up cancelling it. Uh, I did forget to put doors on the toilets, of course, because that is, you know, just, just the way I am, I guess. There we go. I don't know if I like the fact that these doors open different ways. We're going to see. It might annoy me. I, I think... It would annoy me more in real life if the door handles worked differently. If I, you know, if I try to open this door and it opened one way, I did a 180, and then suddenly it was opening a different way. Whereas this is, this is, you know, this makes sense to the human brain in in reality. But I don't know. Looking at it from a top down view drives me a little bit crazy. So uh, we're we're gonna get some lights in this uh, in this building. You know, we we don't want them producing wigs in the dark because uh, they'll end up producing wigs that like would only suit. I don't know. A spitting image model do you remember spitting image it was it was like some comedy tv show where they made like you know puppets of of celebrities and honestly they weren't very flattering they they were a little bit a little bit harsh actually it's got to be said um but there we go we, we've got a wig production building at least uh it is square but i kind of like the room layout it's the best shape for this this quad as well and with with like the two testicles hanging down here which are part of bachelor row I think it looks all right, actually. You know, I'm not, I'm not too, not too fussed. Um, we we had to make available, you know, had to make use of the best available space that we had. So uh, I, I may do with the fact that it's a square. But we'll, you know, we we'll get lots of lovely windows on here. That that will make me feel a little bit better. I'm sure TKO will like that as well, won't you, buddy? Um, so let's get our barber presses down. Anyway, uh, they're going to be somewhere down the bottom. Here we go. And as you can see, they are free wide. And uh, I don't think we can turn them over. Well, that's kind of annoying, isn't it? Let's find out. I, I've got a feeling if we put them at the bottom, like this, we're going to get a little message that comes up and says, those things don't have enough space available to work on them. Uh, and if that is the case, I'm, I'm going to be devastated, honestly, because that means we're going to have to completely rethink. Um, I mean, actually, I guess we could kind of make it work. We can kind of make it work. It, it wouldn't be impossible to make it work, right? We can just... It's going to be a lot of extra doors. Everyone's going to get a door, 
But at the same time, they're only sharing a room between the two of them. You know, so everyone can have a door with their name on it, feel really, really special. But at the same time, the room they're actually going to be in, probably shared between uh, between two people. It's going to be said. Now, one thing I did do, okay, was uh, to bring this electricity line down here because I knew I'd, I'd, I'd undoubtedly forget that I needed to wire this up on a different different supply, okay? So thankfully, because I did that, I've remembered. So I can bring, bring all of these cables in like this. And um, I guess, actually, if I just... If I just wire each room up like this, then I can guarantee that wherever I put the workbenches, they're, they're always going to have power underneath them, if you know what I mean, which I think is the best thing to do. And then they'll, they'll run little cables into... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, this is, this is annoying. So yeah, I'm going to have to rethink this room slightly. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. But uh, I think we're going to do that next time, all right? For, the last thing I'm going to do here today is just get just get a couple of toilets down like that. Um, I mean, I don't know if... Oh, God, no, not that one. I don't know if the bathroom sink is a good idea to put in here because uh, it, it, it does... Well, actually, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's do it. Let's just put a bathroom sink up against that wall. People can people can slide around the side of it. That's okay. You know, it's a bit, bit cramped, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I, I think next time we come back, I'm going to fix this up, okay? We're going to dismantle these bottom benches, going to move them up a slot, get rid of the doors and, and re-put them down. And then, uh, yeah, everyone will have themselves a nice office and we can see what they do with the wig production. But uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to uh, to like and subscribe, you know, do all of the YouTube stuff, leave a comment, uh, come and join the Discord and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you in the next video.